Good evening, good evening. God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Beautiful Joy. God bless you, saints. I'm going to jump right into this, you guys. Today is Saturday. Um, and it's actually almost the next day, um, Sunday. The um, I have to think for a second. Today is the um, 14th. It's still the 14th of September, 2024. It's actually 11.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here in California. I'm just sharing that with you because I've just been up um, just listening to many things the Lord has downloaded in my spirit. And I just got finished watching this brother in Christ. Um, God has called him to be a watchman. He's a pastor. And just listening to a few things, and I'm just sitting here just talking to the Lord and, you know, just allowing the Holy Spirit to just download things, you know, because the Holy Spirit does talk to us. But long story short, um, I just felt led to get on here and give this warning of uh, repentance, a uh, call to repentance for the body of Christ. You know, God is calling the body of Christ to get ready, okay? He cleans up his house first. The house of God gets washed and clean and ready and organized first, okay? Oh, Father God, God is not pleased with the idolatry that is happening within the Christian community. God is not pleased with idolatry. You know, idolatry is anything that you put before God. It could be anything. So... Think to yourself, what are you putting before God? I heard a sister in Christ say, idolatry is anything that takes away your obedience from the Father. Anything that you love more than God. Hey, you might even idolize yourself. Maybe you've made yourself an idol. Maybe um, a movie star or a celebrity, an actress, singer, or whoever. Maybe it's a pastor. Maybe it's a prophet or a prophetess. Whatever the case may be, whoever you're idolizing before God, it's time to repent of that. It is time to repent. I feel that so strong in my spirit. The Lord wants me to, to do a call to repentance. He wants me to call out the sins that are happening within the church. Yes, God has his watchman. I believe God has called me to be a watchman. And I'm going to speak with the Lord wants me to speak because it's not about me it is about telling the truth and it's about um raising up my voice like a trumpet yes god has called his children to preach the good news of the kingdom to make other disciples the great commission he has called us to preach he said how would the world hear without a preacher he has called us Hallelujah, praise God, to tell the truth in the love. We're not going to compromise, we're not going to water down, and we're not here to be people pleasers. We are here to please God, to preach his word, to be the light and the salt, okay? So the hard truth has to be told because really the truth sets us free. Jesus came to say, set the captives free. Excuse me, Jesus came, our Lord and Savior came to set the captives free. Jesus didn't come into this world so we can be remain chained up to sin. No, he came to be the light. He is the light of the world. So we can be free. God desires for us to have life and to have life more abundantly. It's time for the church to wake up. If you call yourself a Christian, I don't care who you are, what language you speak, what color you are, if you're a male or female, young or old, rich or poor, free or slave. If you call yourself a Christian, it's really time to check your heart, to really check your faith, okay? To really check yourself, to look in the mirror, to really examine yourself. Ooh, Father God, because God said, if my people who are called by my name, if they will humble themselves and repent and turn away from their wicked ways, he said he will hear from heaven because he's a God that hears. He's a God that sees. He's a God that answers prayers. He's the only God that is alive. There is no other God. There's only one creator, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He said, if you repent and humble yourselves, okay, because God raises up the humble, but he resists the proud, right? 
Ooh, Father God, and we know pride comes before the fall. Pride comes before destruction. Pride is a sin, and Satan is the father of pride. Oh, Father God. So he said he will bring healing because he's a God that wants to heal. He's a God that wants to restore. He's a God that wants to set the captives free. He's a God that brings restoration. He's a God of so many great and wonderful things. He's a God of peace. He's also a God of wrath. And he is also a jealous God. And God would never, ever coexist with sin. God would never share his glory. God wants his glory back, church. So if you say you're a Christian, it's really time to see, hey, do I really, am I really truly born again? Because a lot of Christians are not born again. Unfortunately, most Christians, in my opinion, are lukewarm. And we know what the Bible says about the lukewarm. The Bible says the lukewarm will be spewed out. The lukewarm will not inherit the kingdom of God. Jesus made that very clear in his word. And I'm starting to see, um, how lukewarm Christians are going on the attack. They're the main ones saying that we cannot call out sin. They're the main ones who are attacking God's people that are out here speaking the truth, out here being the light, being the salt, standing up for righteousness. It's the lukewarm Christians that are out here attacking God's true prophets and his chosen ones who are doing what God has called them to do. That's very twisted. But you know what? The Bible says that that will happen in the last days. He said in the last days, people will have itching ears. There will be a great falling away. There will be doctors of demons. There will be false prophets. There will be false teachers. Even people claiming to be Jesus himself. God is not pleased. I've been feeling that for a very good while already. And this is something that the Lord has already had me speak about. But I just feel led. Like I said, once again, it is almost midnight. I've just been up looking at some things and hearing some things, and I just feel the call to get on here, and it's not a coincidence you're listening to this, so please take this message back to the Lord, pray about everything, test every spirit, because there's a million voices speaking, there's a lot of people claiming to be this and that, I'm a prophet, I'm a man of God, and I'm a woman of God, but a lot of them are operating in witchcraft, a lot of them are witches and warlocks, and they're deep into occult practices and i hope and pray they come out in jesus name i hope and pray that they will truly surrender and come to jesus and truly be born again okay because the bible says why gain the whole entire world but lose your soul why gain the whole world but lose your soul it is not worth it folks it's not worth it it's so easy to look at what everybody else is doing it's time to really check yourself stand in the mirror and look at yourself and really ask yourself do i really Am I really born again? Because you have to be born again. The Bible says you must be born again. You must be born again to, en to enter into God's kingdom. And the only way to truly to be born again, you're going to have to come to the end of yourself. You're going to have to truly submit to God. Yes, you're going to have to submit to God. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. God said, you will know my, my people. You will recognize my son and my daughters because um, by their fruits. You know, a good tree cannot produce bad fruit and a bad tree cannot produce good fruit. That's just what it is. God has made things very, very clear in his word. But we like to take the word of God and twist it to fit and comfort our sins. You know, it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. This is a message of, uh, I'm sorry, this is a call to repentance to anyone. If you claim you're a Christian. I highly advise you, I encourage you to really check your faith walk. God is fed up with the idolatry. The idolatry has gotten to new levels. And, you know, in the last days, it's going to get to new levels, okay? But God is merciful. He is just and faithful. He is sovereign. I'm telling you, God is giving you an opportunity now. So I encourage you to take this opportunity to really surrender. If you know you truly haven't surrendered to God, I, I hope and pray that you would have a new desire that now, today, right now, as you're listening to this, today is the day of salvation. Do not wait. Okay. Stop gambling with your salvation. Stop gambling with it. It's not worth it because every single thing here will pass away. Nothing here will last. It's not worth it. Because at the end of the day, when, when this whole place is done and it's finished and it's a wrap, 
Don't you want to be with God? Don't you want to be on God's team? Don't you want to come over to the winning side? Because everything in this world is losing. Everything that belongs to this world is fading. It's passing away. It's walking towards death. You're going to have to do a 360 and come out of this world. You're literally going to have to leave, leave the world behind. Excuse me. You are literally are going to have to walk away from this world. Because right now, if you're not truly submitted to God, if you're not truly born again, you're trying to save your life for this world. You're trying to live for the world. And God said, if you're living for the world, you're an enemy to him. Right now, you're an enemy to God. Okay? So you don't want to go to war with God. You don't want to be God's enemy because I never heard anybody winning a battle against God. That can never happen. And God has never lost a battle. My God have mercy. The church needs to repent from idolatry. And we're going to talk about some other things. But right now, just feeling the spirit to do a call to repentance for anybody that claims to be a Christian. Stop trying to fake it till you make it. That's going to lead you towards death. It's time for you to truly come out, to truly surrender, to really allow God to just take over, submit to the Father. God is good. God has nothing but good thoughts towards you. He wants you to have a life and to have a life more abundantly. But you're going to have to turn around from your wicked ways and you're going to have to fully submit to God and stop trying to live this fake lukewarm Christian life. I used to be lukewarm, so I can speak on this. It's part of my testimony. If God did it for me, if God did it for millions and millions of Christians through each generation, he can do it for you because God is able. He has more than enough grace. Don't take advantage of God's grace because if you're truly trying to live for this world and you're trying to, trying to be this fake Christian, it's not going to get you anywhere. You're going to lose your life. You're going to lose it. You're going to lose it, literally. You're not going to make it. And these are the hard truths that we all have to accept, every single person, because God is after every person's heart. He sees the heart of every single person. He sees your thoughts. He sees every unspoken word. There's nothing hidden from God. So stop playing games with God. You stop thinking that God doesn't see what you're doing. Repent, 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 repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. God loves you. Um, but time is getting short. He loves you so much. You know, he loved the whole world. He loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, the Lord Jesus Christ, that whoever so believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. John three sixteen. Jesus did not go on that cross and die for you. So you can remain chained up to sin. So you can remain a slave to sin. God wants to break you free. He loves you so much. But you're going to have to humble yourself and you're going to have to fall on your face if you have to. You're going to have to get on, on your knees. When was the last time that you truly reached out to God? When was the last time you truly thanked God and gave him reverence and spent time with the Father? Many of you are so distracted. You're in the world. You're lukewarm. It's time to wake up. God is knocking on your heart. Stop ignoring the call. God wants to have a conversation with you. God wants to dine with you. He said, if you draw more um, near to me, excuse me, the Lord says, if you draw near to me, I will draw near to you. It's time to really check your faith walk. It's really time to get real. Stop lying to yourself. It's time to really flee from this world. We see people that pass away every single day. Death is a guarantee. For everybody, everybody's going to leave this place. No one is going to live here forever. It's really time to get right. Time is short. We see Bible prophecy unfolding so rapidly. We really are. We're seeing Bible prophecy just unfold. Look at everything that's happening in the world. It's not going to last. This world is not going to last. It is passing away every single day. It's passing away. And the only way that leads to life is through the Lord Jesus Christ. I love you enough to tell you the truth. And this is not about condemning. This is not about casting stones. I'm not anybody's final judge. But I have been called to be one of God's watchdogs. And I have been called to call out the sins of the church. And to tell the world about Jesus. To tell the truth in love. 
you know, a true sister, a true brother in Christ would never want to see you walk into that burning building, into that building that's about to crumble. We're going to warn you. We're going to scream and shout and raise our voice up as loud as we can so you can, will, will hear us before you step into that building that's about to completely destroy you. God loves you more than anybody. Remember that. God loves you more than anybody could ever love you. And he just wants you to make it. But see, we have, um, we live in a fallen world. Adam and Eve, the first two people, disobeyed God. And that didn't work out. So what makes you think that you can continue to live as a child of disobedience and enter into God's kingdom forever? That's not what the Bible says. That's not what the Bible says. It's time to flee this world and accept Jesus and allow the Holy Spirit to transform your life. It is the best decision you're ever going to make. Go in peace in Jesus' name. God bless you.